Hello students, let's do playing with numbers, exercise 9a, questions 3 to 8. Question 3. The HCF and LCM of two numbers are 50 and 300 respectively. If one of the numbers is 150, find the other number. So what's given to us? HCF of two numbers is 50. Then the LCM of the two numbers is 300. And one number has been given to us, 150. So there are two numbers, isn't it? So one number is given to us. To find the other number, we have to use this formula. What is the formula? Product of HCF and LCM. That means multiply HCF and LCM and divide it by that one number that's given to us. So what is the product of HCF and LCM? HCF is 50. Product means multiplication. LCM is 300. Now divide this by the one number that's given, 150. Now let's cancel. Cancel the 0. Now we can also cancel 15 and 30. 15 ones are 15. 15 twos are 30. Now let's multiply the numerators. 50 into 2 is 100. 100 by 1, which is 100. That means the other number is 100. So you found the answer. They've asked us to find the other number and we have found that the other number is 100. Question 4. The product of two numbers is given to us. The LCM is given to us. We are asked to find the HCF. So what is the product of the two numbers? 432. What is the LCM? 72. And we have been asked to find the HCF. The formula to find the HCF is the product of the two numbers divided by LCM. That means 432 divided by 72. So let's divide 432 by 72. 72 into 6. 6 twos are 12, carry 1. 6 sevens are 42, plus 1, 43. Minus your remainder is 0. So that means 432 divided by 72 is 6. So we have found the HCF. The HCF of the two numbers is 6. Question 5. The product of two numbers is given to us and their HCF also. This time we have to find the LCM. So the product of two numbers is 19,200. Their HCF is 40. Now we have to find the LCM and the formula to find the LCM is just like for HCF. The product of the two numbers divided by HCF. So what is the product of the two numbers? 19,200 and HCF is 40. Now we have to divide these two. Let's cancel and now we can divide 1,920 by 4. 1,920 divided by 4. 19, 4 fours are 16. Minus, we have 3, bring down 2, 32. 4 eights are 32. Minus, and then we have a 0, which we take up. 4 zeros are 0. So we've got 480. That means the LCM of the two numbers is 480. Question 6. Find the smallest number which when divided by 12, 15, 18, 24 and 36 leaves no remainder. When we are asked to find the smallest number, what are we talking about? We are talking about the LCM. When we ask for the greatest number, we are talking about the HCM. So here we have to find the LCM of 12, 15, 18, 24 and 36. Let's begin. So we have the numbers here. Let's divide it by 3. So 3 4s are 12. 3 5s are 15. 3 6s are 18. Now we have 24. 3 8s are 24. I have 36. 3 12s are 36. So now let's continue with 3. Okay. Now so what do we have here? I'm going to bring down 4 because it's not divisible. 5 not divisible. 6. 3 2s are 6. 8 is not divisible, then 12, 3, 4s are 12. Now I'm going to divide using 2. So here we have 2, 2s are 4, I bring down 5, 2, 1s are 2, 
two fours are eight, two twos are four. I continue dividing by two. So two ones are two, I bring down five. One, two twos are four and two ones are two. Now I can continue with two. Then I will bring one down, five down, one down. Now two ones are two and one. And now I have only five left. So I'll divide by five. So five ones are five. Then I have one, one and one. So the LCM will be all these numbers, the product. Okay, so let's count the twos. One, two, three. There are three twos. So two into two into two. Then there are two threes. So into three into three. And then there is a five. So now let's multiply and see. Two twos are four. Four twos are eight into three threes are nine. Nine fives are forty-five. So let's multiply 45 and 8. 8 fives are 40, carry 4. 8 fours are 30, 32 plus 4, 36. So the LCM is 360. So LCM is 360. That means the smallest number, which when divided by 12, 15, 18, 24 and 36, that leaves no remainder, is 360. So this is our answer. Go on to the next question. Find the smallest number which when increased by 1 is exactly divisible by these numbers. So first we have to find the LCM. So let's do that. Let's find the LCM. So here I'll start again with 2. I can start with 2. 2 6 are 12. 2 9s are 18. 2 12s are 24, 2 16s are 32, and 2 20s are 40. Now again I continue this time with 2 again. So here I have 2 3s are 6. I bring down 9 as it is. 2 6s are 12, 2 8s are 16, 2 10s are 20. I can divide again by 2 since I have a few numbers there that are divisible. So 3 I can't, 9 I can't, 2 3s are 6, 2 4s are 8 and 2 5s are 10. Now let me continue with 2 again and let's see. So here 3 comes down as it is, 9, 3, now 2, 2s are 4 and 5 I bring down. Again I can divide by 2. So here I bring down 3, 9, 3, 2 ones are 2 and I bring down 5. Now I can divide by 3. So that is 3 ones are 3, 3 threes are 9, 3 ones are 3, 1 and 5. So here I continue with 3 again. So I get 1, 3 ones are 3, 1, 1 and 5. And this time I divide by 5. So it's all 1 now. This is 5 ones are 5. So now let's find the LCM. LCM equals, let me take all the 2s, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 2s. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 2s. Let me take the 3s. So 3 into 3, 3 into 3 and into 5. So let's multiply. 2 2s are 4, 4 2s are 8, 8 2s are 16, 16 twos are 32 into 3 threes are 9, 9 fives are 45. So we are doing this grouping to make our multiplication easier. So 45 into 32. 2 fives are 10, carry 1. 2 fours are 8 plus 1, 9, 0. 3 fives are 15, carry 1. 3 fours are 12 plus 1, 13. So here it is, 9 plus 5 is 14, carry 1, 3 plus 1 is 4, and then 1, 1,440. So we have found the LCM, but what is the question telling us? Find the smallest number which when increased by 1 is exactly divisible. Increased by 1 means so I have increased by 1 and it has become 1440. So to get the actual number, 
The smallest number here that they are asking us to find is by subtracting 1 from this. By subtracting 1 from 1440 minus 1 will be 1439. So this is the smallest number that is asked in the question. Okay. So they are saying find the smallest number which when increased by 1. So this is the smallest number. If I increase this by 1, I get the LCM. Okay, so this is my final answer, 1439. Next question. Find the smallest number which on being decreased by 3 is completely divisible by 18, 36, 32 and 27. So here we have to again find the LCM and remember this is decreased by 3. So we will solve it at the end. So first we start by finding the LCM of these numbers 18, 36, 32 and 27. So let's start with 3. 3 6's are 18, then 3 1's are 3, 3 2's are 6, that means 3 12's are 36. I bring down 32, then I have 27, 3 9's are 27. Continue with 3. So here I have 3 2's are 6. 3 4s are 12. I can't divide 32, so I bring it down. And 3 3s are 9. Continue with 3. Let's finish off with 3. So here we have 2, we bring it down. 4, we bring it down. 32 also is not divisible, but 3 1s are 3. Now we can't use 3 anymore. Let's use 2. So here, what do we have? 3 2 1s are 2. 2 2s are 4. 2 into 16 is 32. And then you bring down 1. Then we continue with 2 again. Now I bring down 1. 2 1s are 2. 2 8s are 16. And then I bring down 1. Again I continue with 2. So I have 1, 1. And then 2 4s are 8. And then 1. I continue with 2 again. And I have 2. I bring down the 1. 1, 2, 2s are 4 and 1. And now again I divide by 2. So it's 1, 1 and 1 and 1. So I've finished. So now let's find my LCM first. So let me write all the 2s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 2s. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And let me take the 3s. 1, 2, 3. So that is 1, 2 and 3. Now let's multiply all the 2's. 2 2's two are 4, 4 2's are 8, 8 2's are 16, 16 2's are 32 into 3 3's are 9, 9 3's are 27. So let's multiply 32 and 27. 7 2's are 14, I carry 1, 7 3's are 21 plus 1, 22. Then second step, 2 2's are 4. 2 3's are 6. So 4, 2 plus 4 is 6, 2 plus 6 is 8 after adding. So we get 864 as our LCM. So this is the number that can divide 18, 36, 32 and 27 completely. But here they are asking us to find the smallest number which on being decreased by 3. So this number if it is decreased by 3, you will have to get 864. So you have to find a number. When you decrease 3 from it, you must get 864. So what will it be? 864 plus 3, isn't it? Now 864 plus 3 will be 867. Now from 867, if you decrease 3, you will get 864, which is divisible by those numbers. So this is the smallest number which you can decrease 3 and get a number that is divisible. So our final answer, the smallest number is 867. So with that children, we come to the end of this exercise. Thank you children.